Hello there friends. I was asked to create a video on how to make Etsy listing videos. So that's what we are going to do today. And I wanted to be able to recreate basically kind of like a simulation of what I went through to create the one that I have in the freebie. So the freebie one is basically like a Libby style glass tumbler and I have it on there so that it looks like the design that you've created is on the Libby tumbler. It's a Canva template for a video mock-up. Boy, that's confusing. But the point is, is it's to look as if it's a Libby tumbler or something of like that. Uh, a glass tumbler that looks like it's being filled and on the outside of that is the design that you create. So just a drag and drop design. These tend to help a lot when it comes to selling. Any type of video that you could put on Etsy it seems to really increase the amount of sales and the amount of impressions that you get. I don't know why, I have no idea, but I have tested it myself and my listings that have videos on them sell far more and far better than the ones that do not. If I'm being honest, I think it probably has to do with the scroll feature. I don't actually scroll on mobile often on Etsy. I'm almost always on a desktop when I'm shopping Etsy. Maybe this feature isn't on mobile, I don't know. But when you are on the desktop version and you are scrolling through, you will notice that when you hover over a listing, if it has a video, it auto plays. And the video is in the second place of your images. When you're uploading your images, you're going to have your first image, which is your primary image. Your second is actually the video. And then after that, you get your other images. So the video is a 2000 by 2000 pixel square canvas, and you need to make your video fit into that. So there's a lot of different videos that you can create. You can do a slideshow of your product. You could do um, a mock-up video like I'm going to show you today. There's a lot of different types that you can do. There are also websites that already have videos there's one called place it and I will leave a link for that one down below but it has a lot of great options for mock-ups that look very realistic and they are video already so all you would have to do is crop them down in a program like Canva to be able to make sure that they are the 2000 by 2000 so that was a whole lot but here's a kind of a breakdown of my idea with this so I was using a similar product for my own personal designs and I was like gosh I'd really like to provide this to my subscribers I like creating freebies for you guys. And so my idea was to be able to create my own. I'm not showing you a video of me actually doing it for the one that I created for you guys, but I am going to insert a clip showing you exactly how I arranged creating it. And then we will meet in Canva after that clip. Okay. So this is kind of like my coffee area, but this is where I created the video. So you can see the glass window cling in the background. So I thought that would look pretty. All I did was place this kind of black hanging sign and I placed it on something flat. So in, in the case of the video that I created, I actually used my ice machine, but it's not here right now. It's down there because I moved it. But all I did was place that down like that. And then I grabbed a Libby type cup, which I don't have anymore, but we'll just pretend this is one. And I had some ice in it and I placed that in the center. See if I can even do that for the sake of the video, just like that. And then I took some coffee and then some milk or cream, and I just filmed myself pouring into this. And then I just went ahead and I cropped it, and I'll show you kind of the results after doing that, and then how you go from this to the end result. But this gives you kind of a basic walkthrough of how I originally created. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy. As you can see, this is literally just where my coffee pot and everything is and my uh, instant pot. So you can make this work pretty much anywhere. I just thought the background of the window cling would look really pretty and I think it does. All right, so once you have taken your video, then you're going to upload it to your computer however it is that you do that okay so if you've taken it from your phone like i did if you use google drive that's what i do i just send my video over via google drive and then i download it to my computer if you have an apple uh, like an imac i think they sync up so you don't have to worry about anything but basically you're going to get your video from your device to your computer or whatever it is that you are going to be using canva on and your other design platforms next so when when you get to Canva, you're going to create a canvas size of 2000 by 2000. So this is a custom canvas size and I'm just going to do Etsy test video. 
Okay, so this is the exact way that I created the one that I have for the freebie, okay? So I have already cropped this video, but this is what you're going to want to do. You're gonna to wanna to upload, now that that video is on your computer, you're going to upload that video into Canva. And that's simple, you just click upload, upload files, and then grab your video and pop it in over here. Once you have that done, you're gonna crop it down so that it is a square, okay? And you're gonna make sure that it fits. So I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna pull it and I'm going to make it fit just like I want and put it in the middle, okay? So now your video is cropped and it's fit perfectly on a 2000 by 2000 canvas. So I can see a little bit of a white line there on the bottom of this one. So I wanna make sure that I have it maybe even a little bit bigger just so that we don't have a little white line or anything like that. Okay, that looks much better. Start it over here this is what the video would look like. So this video doesn't have any sound. Um, all of that is up to you. If you want to include sound, you can, but I did not do any sound on mine. Okay, so that is what the mock-up looks like starting out. So now what we have to do is we have to create that custom sized frame that will go on top of this and then we can go from there. So that part I did not create in Canva. I haven't checked to see if this is something that you could do in Canva. I think you potentially can. I'm going to go ahead and use Photopea because that's what I make. Yes. All right, so now that we have this completely sized perfectly, what I wanna do is I want to save this as a JPEG file. All right, so now we're going to use that photo in PhotoP to create the frame. Now that we're in PhotoP, I've already gone ahead and uploaded our snapshot JPEG from Canva. So the first thing we need to do is create a new layer and you'll see that we have the main layer, the background layer, and then the layer on top. So this layer, layer one, is where we're going to be putting that shape. So I'm just gonna start off with the basic shape of a rectangle. And I'm going to make sure that it lines up as close as possible to the edges of the tumbler. We'll zoom in so I can see it better. So I've zoomed in really close so that we can see those edges really well. And now I'm gonna grab that rectangle and we're just going to put it right where I think the wrap is going to go. We can always adjust this, but the goal is just to get it as close as you possibly can to the edges. So we'll start right about here, move it all the way to the other edge, and then we'll click off. So now we have the width perfectly, so all we need to do is basically pull it up or stretch it up so that it goes the height of the tumbler. All right, now we zoomed out just so we can get an idea, make sure that we have it lined up really well. All right, so that looks pretty perfect. So the next part we need to do is give it a little bit of a curve at the top and then a little bit of a curve at the bottom. So we're gonna use, click this arrow right underneath the pen tool there, and then we'll just grab the center here. We're just going to create that curve. So it doesn't have to be a drastic curve. We want it to be realistic. It looks like the wrap is wrapping around the tumbler perfectly. So the curve is essential so that you get that look to it that it's going around. But if you do too much of a curve, it's not going to look realistic at all. So you'll need to play around with it a little bit to where you just the way you like it. So let's click off. I think this looks pretty darn good. Like I said, we can always adjust it, but I think it looks pretty good. So now the next step is just to make this into a Canva frame. So what we'll do next is we will create a Canva frame just like we would any other Canva frame, except this time we're going to take off the background uh, because we don't need that, right? All we need for a Canva frame is the SVG itself, which is this right here. For a Canva frame to work, it has to be solid black. It cannot be a colored image. It cannot be just any picture you've put on here. I think that's where a lot of people go wrong when they're making Canva frames. So once we have this created, now what we need to do is just add in a placeholder image. This image can be anything. It doesn't matter. It's just a placeholder. We're not really using it. So we're just going to grab anything you have on your computer at all. So now we have two things in our layers area. We have the, the background color or the placeholder image that I just uploaded. And then we have the silhouette that we created, this SVG or outline of an image. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to grab this one and we want to put this one above. Okay. That way the mask works. And when you do the mask, you're going to right click and you're going to go down to clipping mask. 
you'll know the clipping mask worked because it turns into that shape. What it's done is it's taken that placeholder image that you pulled in and it has put it inside of the shape that you created. That's why I called it a placeholder. Now we're going to save this as a PSD file, which is technically a Photoshop file. Now that we're back in Canva, we need to upload that PSD file that we just created over on PhotoP, okay? So we're gonna go to upload, upload files, and then bring in the PSD file. There we go. You know what? It just occurred to me that this will work, but we did not get rid of the background. Okay, I'm going to fix that. So when you are saving, you need to not have a background. Ugh, that is so frustrating. Okay, if you did this and you have a background, okay, like a, a background like this, it's okay. I was thinking that I needed to save it differently, but I don't. So we'll just, just pretend I didn't say that. Just gone. Once you have, let me just control Z since I did that quickly. When you have this done, you'll be able to double click and then delete it or go backwards. We will right click it and you can click detach image either way. Okay. If that doesn't work and all it does is like highlight, but it doesn't let you delete the image. It deletes the whole thing. Then something was done incorrectly in photo P and you need to go back there. That's the only thing that could have happened is something went wrong in photo P, whether you have too many things in your layers panel or the image you started, something went wrong. So start that process over again. Okay. Back at it. So we're going to delete this and you'll have this background here. You'll have this one here, and then you'll also have this black one here. We don't need the black one anymore, so you can go ahead and delete it, but we will need this one here. So what we wanna do is we wanna grab that video and we want to bring the video back over here. So I know that it just automatically deleted itself. That was my fault because I didn't add a page. So if you do this, what you want to do is you want to keep your original video that was here and then add a page. So I'll just go ahead and just kind of rewind the whole process here. So here's the video, right? This is the one that you created and we're already at this step. We're going to add a page. Okay. So that when we bring this PSD file in, it doesn't replace this one here. So we're, we have this second page highlighted. We're going to grab that. It is the exact size that we need and we're going to double click, delete the placeholder. Now we have that landscape picture we all know. We're gonna delete the black and we are going to grab this and we're going to bring it up to this one up here. Now we're going to line this up and this is, you know, this is where you're going to decide whether or not you need to start over, uh, whether or not the sizing is going to be right for you or not. So let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. Here we go and you can adjust it but like the um the curve and the curve down here we won't be able to adjust those so if those aren't quite right you will have to go back to photo p and redo that portion so i'm going to just increase the size a bit on this one and we will just try to line it up as good as we can so you can see a little bit on the edges there so i'm gonna just inch it and the more you zoom in, kind of the better and easier this is to do. There we go. So we can see that it works until we get right up here and then it's not quite right. So what we may want to do is go back into Photo P and just make sure we're getting that. So it looks like I didn't take into account that there was um, not a straight line. So it looks pretty straight on this side, but not on this side. It goes over more for the sake of the video. I'll just bring it over just a tad there. All right. So that's good enough for the video for the explanation. Okay. And then what will happen is this would be pretty much done. So depending on how you want to show this off, you could also select this and then reduce the opacity down a bit. Okay, that might help really depends if you are going for like showing off DTF I think pretty much it would be fine just the way it is So let me show you what it would look like if we were to utilize this now that we've created it So we can go to uploads and we can select this one that I made for the mug video And what you want to do is you'll want to make it a little larger Okay, and then we will just shimmy it 
and we won't pop it in there. So as you can see, now that we've gotten that on there and this has a transparent background, it's taking over the look of the tumbler. So we can click on play and we can just kind of watch it do its thing. Really makes that come to life. So if we were to take this off, okay, and let's say we want to lower down the transparency. So you can do this on yours to where the mock-up alone is more transparent, or you can do it on the final design. It really doesn't matter, but I'm just giving you an idea. So this is at 87%, um, a little bit more transparent there. So if we grabbed it and we popped it in, um, I don't know if you can even tell there, but it makes the whole design a little bit more transparent. You see how you can see the ice moving here. I'll zoom in a bit so you guys can really see it, but you can see the ice moving here and you can see the ice behind it. So it really depends on how you're putting this on the mug um, or on the tumbler and what style. Uh, you want it to look as close to what your end customer is going to get when they apply this to the tumble. You want it as close as possible because you don't want to do any false advertising. So that would be a way that you can do that. Okay, so if this ends up being too big, what you can do is you can just resize this down. Okay, so let's say we only really want it to show up on that much. Okay, so then you just grab it and pop it in there and then it'll still work just fine because of the dimensions of your overall frame and tumbler. So you can even, um, let's say you want to show off this side. Okay. Then we can hit play and you can totally see how it's going to do that. Looks super, super cute. I love it. So now if you wanted to create videos like this, you can do it with shirts or tote bags or whatever you would like to make one. But if you wanted to do Canva video mock-up templates, <laughs> what you'd wanna do is name it appropriately, of course, and then you would go to share, and then you would create a template. So you would create right here where it says template link. There you go. Anyone with the link can use this design as a template. Sign in is required, but you won't know who has made copies of them. And so then you'll create a template link and then copy. And then this is essentially what I have in my uh, shop freebie for you guys. So this is exactly what I did to be able to do that for you guys. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something, maybe figured out something that you were stumped on, or I don't know, hopefully this has become helpful for you. Etsy videos are hugely important. You can use these exact same steps to create anything for TikTok or Reels, Shorts, all of those for advertising. Obviously we created this one specific to Etsy for their videos, and I do think it greatly increases your visibility on Etsy. I I think personally that Etsy pushes these out more, the ones that have videos. I could be wrong, but it's just what I have noticed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it's super helpful for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so that you get notified every single time I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go out there, go design a life you love, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.